a special <laughs> essay for CBS Mornings from award-winning filmmaker Ken Burns. It was made on his, with his digital website, um, Burns' new long-awaited project on boxing icon Muhammad Ali is set to debut this weekend. The four-part documentary series looks at Ali's life, career, and social impact. To understand Ali, Burns says we need to go back further, back into history, to Jackie Robinson and his struggle for equality. I am proud of my blackness, proud of the accomplishments of black people. Think of me as the kind of Negro who comes to the conclusion that he isn't going to beg for anything, that he will be reasonable, but he damned well is tired of being patient. Jackie Robinson. When I made my series on baseball, I told people it was the sequel to our Civil War series, and they looked at me like I was nuts. But if you want to know what happens after the Civil War, the most important event in our country's history, baseball is part of that story. Let's remember that the first real progress in civil rights since the Civil War happened not at a lunch counter in North Carolina, not on a city bus in Montgomery, Alabama, not in a school in Topeka, Kansas, but on a baseball diamond in Brooklyn, New York, when on April 15, 1947, Jack Roosevelt Robinson, the grandson of a slave, made his way to first base. Sports are an important mirror of who we are. And when I look at where we've been, two athletes stand out to me, Jackie Robinson and Muhammad Ali, two barrier-breaking black athletes whose words and deeds changed the country and proved every bit as meaningful as their achievements on the field and in the ring. More than anything else, what African Americans have wanted from America is a seat at the table. Jackie Robinson knew once he got in the door, you could knock down all of these conventions. First, you get out there and you prove you can play. Then you can start talking back to umps. Then you start dealing with writers on your terms instead of their terms. Then you start fighting to make sure the hotels are integrated. And over time, Jackie Robinson has pushed us forward. For him, there was no satisfaction with simply being allowed to enter the room. Jackie Robinson reimagined what was possible. He signaled the beginning of a new fight for freedom. And 20 years later, heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali risked his career and freedom to do the same. He stood on the foundation Robinson had laid, and his refusal to compromise on his beliefs and his willingness to sacrifice everything for those beliefs was another step as athletes helped lead the fight for justice. Well, whatever the punishment, whatever the persecution is for standing up for my religious beliefs, even if it means facing machine gun fire that day, I will face it before denouncing Elijah Muhammad and the religion of Islam. I'm ready to die. When I think about him saying, if they want to put me before a firing squad tomorrow, I'm ready to die before I abandon my religion. Um, that's it. You can't teach that kind of thing in lectures, in books. That kind of thing has to be modeled. And models turn into traditions. And traditions provide people with the mechanical memory to do the right thing. The force of Robinson and Ali's examples resonates as deeply in our current moment as it did in theirs. Once again, we see athletes expanding on the tradition of meaningful protests set by these pioneering figures. In my films, I always look to explore subjects that reveal something telling and crucial about the American story. And for me, sports can serve as a kind of x-ray of the health of the United States. It's where we get a unique and raw sense of where we are as a country. Wow. Incredible piece. Uh, Tony, you know this. There's something about athletes that gives us a confidence, even a stubbornness, that makes us believe that we're the best at the sport that we are playing. Mm -hmm. um, those same characteristics 
They're qualities that we use when we're standing for things that we believe in, mm -hmm. which is why sports and social justice are synonymous. Yeah, well, I knew darn well I wasn't the best at uh, baseball. <laughs> but I do know Ken Burns is the best at documentary. Yes. Uh, pretty good track record. Uh, I think Muhammad Ali is going to be another good one. Yeah, you know? I can't wait to see it. I love that he was so young at the time, and that was such a courageous because decision. He was so vilified, but he's turned out to be on the right side of history, it seems. The four-part series Muhammad Ali kicks off this Sunday night on PBS. I can't wait to watch that.